Hello, this is uh, Anything Arduino. Today, uh, the main thing is we're going to connect the ENC28J60 Ethernet module uh, to the Arduino and uh, see how you do that and how easy it is. Uh, we're just going to go through some example sketches. Um, the the ENC28J60 even though a much more complicated name than the Ethernet Shield or W5100 is um, a much smaller alternative as you can see footprint wise so if you want to minimize your project uh, this is probably a better way to go it is also about half price to the uh, at least on eBay if you want to buy the really cheap ones this one is around seven eight dollars and this one is around three or four dollars so half in size and half in price even even less than half in size so there's a few libraries online for the ENC 28J60 um, the one I found that seemed to be most easy to implement and also um, one of the few that was still being developed was the ether card by G Labs. Uh, you find this on glabs.net slash pub slash doc slash ether card. Uh, here's a short documentation and also a download link for the library. So the ether card is a driver for the NC28J60 chip compatible with Arduino IDE. Here's a short uh, pin diagram how to connect it to the iPad simple simply voltage and ground and then four data pins uh, and this is actually less pins than some of the other libraries I don't know why uh, but I know the this works uh, so we scroll down here a bit and then we see download the zip file here we do that so we download the, the master file from github for this project we unzip that put it I put it on the desktop and then they say uh, from the Arduino IDE sketch import library add library start the Arduino IDE uh, you can do this you can go into the Arduino and import it there um, or you can just open up your computer go to your documents go into your Arduino library uh, and then you have libraries here uh, and if you put if you remove the dash master which is not a, a valid name for a library in Arduino and just call it ethercard and we drop it there so now when we load our Arduino IDE It takes time. There. So now, if we go, we can see if this works. We should now have some example files. Here in the middle, we have EtherCard. So here are a few example files we can use. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you this one back soon. It it creates a, a, a simple uh, web server that just uh, presents a message um, but first let's connect the cables so to connect the ENC28J60 to the Arduino we need a few cables and we begin with voltage and ground um, everywhere I've seen online on the ether card library and all other pages they all say that you should connect 3.3 volts um, to the to this ENC 28J60 uh, on this particular model it says it's really bad writing and it's wrong lettering and stuff like that but it says 5 volts here 
and uh, I've actually I, I tried with 3.3 volts and didn't get it to work with 3.3 volts but 5 volts uh, and it works uh, okay so uh, I'll show you the difference I, I'm not sure you can see it on video but uh, I can see that the LED is, is very dim when, when uh, connected to 3.3 volts so but anyway so we connect 5 volts on the ENC 28K60 to 5 volts on the Arduino. Spinning. And then on this board there are two grounds. There's one there and one there. And it doesn't matter which one you take. I take that one. And then we are supposed to connect CS to pin 8. SI, which on this board is uh, spelled wrong. So on this board it says ST. So if you have one of these boards and you, s you don't find SI, use ST and that will most probably work for you. Connect that to 11. S S O S O is there. Connect that to 12. And one last one. S C K connect to pin 13 there this is it and then of course you need to plug in power we do that like that this time and I have an ethernet cable here connects right there oh yeah guess it has to lie like that. So let's take a look at the sketch that we're going to try out today. It's the ether ether card back soon. Uh, uh, this will present a will be back soon web page, a stand-in web server. Uh, this will and you see here define static zero set to one to disable DHCP and we want to do that because we don't want to go around searching what IP address this device gets uh, and we're going to give it 180 static byte 192 they have a comma but it's it's in our Arduino world it's comma instead of dots but Think of it as that, so it, the IP address will be 192.168.1.180. And the gateway, it doesn't matter, but it is 254 in this case. And it gives it a MAC address, and it, it, it creates the TCP IP sender receive buffer. And then here is the, this is the resulting string that is going to be presented to anyone who visits uh, the web page at this address. We upload this. Loading. There. And then we open a new page here. And then we. One ninety-eight. And it's not working, of course. Let's look at what. Uh, one. 180. 
I'm getting lost in IP address world anyway. So this is an Arduino answering. Have fun finding out more fun things to do with this. Please try again later. So it works just great. Um, so and actually this is less code than is needed for the W5100 as far as I as at least the ones the the codes I have tried just as simple codes like this. So I hope you found this useful uh, and that you will buy some of these and try them out. They're I I believe they are really good for uh, to use in the projects where you want to have the Arduino connected to the internet or or your network. Uh, so stay tuned, please subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, follow all the, see all the following uh, projects I'm going to do with this and uh, other stuff. Uh, so thanks for now, take care, bye.